Who do you believe? Why do you believe them? And which will you trust more, your favorite scholars or the King James Bible? Here's why I trust my King James Bible more. Hi, I'm David Daniels from Chick Publications. Open your Bible to Proverbs chapter 18, verse 8. Go ahead and grab your Bible. Proverbs 18, verse 8. The words of a talebearer are as wounds, and they go down into the innermost parts of the belly. Does your Bible say that? It probably doesn't if it's not a King James Bible. It probably says something more like choice or dainty morsels instead of wounds. Even the New King James says tasty trifles. But Martin Luther's 1545 German Bible translates it as beating. In the 1500s, the Coverdale, the Matthews, the Bishop's Bible, all translated as wounds. The Czech Kralika, 1613, the Polish Gdansk, 1633, the Finnish, 1776, all translate out to wounds. And the first time a Hebrew-speaking Jewish rabbi translated this text into English, he used wounds just like the King James Bible. He should know. Rabbi Isaac Leeser, 1853. And the 1985 Jewish Old Testament in English, translated from the Jewish Publication Society. One of the translators even worked on the RSV and New RSV. Translated this word in English as bruising. Bruising, beating, wounds, those are a far cry from tasty trifles. So, who will you believe? And why? We could argue all day. Scholars have argued back and forth for centuries. But I don't want to argue. I want to bear fruit. I want God's fruit in my life. I want to please God. Well, so I've decided to look for the root that bears the fruit. The King James Bible has been bearing fruit for over 400 years. People who believed every word of the King James Bible bore fruit. The largest missionary movement the world has ever seen did not come from people who doubted their Bibles. And remember, believing a book, the King James Bible as God's words, used to be the norm, not the exception. And think about it a moment. The words of a talebearer are as wounds, and they do go down to the innermost parts of the belly. They hurt. I know. I felt them. I bet some of you have too. Tasty morsels may make the scholars and the gossips happy. But we know, tailbearing just makes us miserable. So, what are you going to measure your life up against? The footnotes and the debates of the scholars? Or the published, permanent, printed words of the living God in English, the King James Bible. I want to bear root downward and bear fruit upward, like it says in the scriptures. If you have a good root, you'll bear good fruit. My advice? Pick carefully. God bless you and have a wonderful day.